G with the Ellen Valley News. We tune for video and interviews to follow. As far as you guys are known as a grit and grind team, how much more intensity have you guys added since adding the new players? Well, you know, I think uh, with Jeff, uh, you know, the addition of him and some of our rookies, we just have tried to speed up our, our play a little bit. Even though we are a, a grit and grind, slow it down type of team, well, uh, you know, we're opportunistic when it comes to fast breaks, when it comes to steals, and, and we're able to execute a little bit better because we're able to, to, to move the ball a little bit quicker and things like that. So uh, hopefully we can continue to get better. You're the key to this team. You're the, you're the engine that drives it. You're the, the floor general. Talk about how much more fun it is for you. It's so much fun to be a part of a team like this. Uh, it's a family. You know, it's a family atmosphere. We we go out to eat together. We hang out off the court. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that you know point guards dream of. You know, as, as a point guard. So. Uh, I'm just happy to be here and hopefully uh, you know, I keep doing well for this team and we, we, we go far this year. Talk about the outlook approaching those playoffs. What are your thoughts? We're looking forward to it. Uh, we understand that it's going to be tough out here in the, in the Western Conference. No matter who we match up with, it's going to be a contending type of team uh, in the first round. So we just got to continue to keep our heads down, focused, and uh, locked in going down the stretch. But you're built for a seven-game series, aren't you? And we're built for a seven-game series, so we're looking forward to it. All right, thanks. All right. As far as the performance of your team, where you are in this season, how do you feel you guys where you are in, this, in the, the way of your chemistry and the flow? Oh, we, we need a good place, but uh, you know, we, we can't be satisfied. I mean, we're not content. We we got to keep growing, um, keep, playing, keep playing better. I thought tonight was a, was a good team win against a team that you know was sitting here for a couple days. It's the second game back from the break. And I thought we did a pretty good job, uh, you know, staying in the game and fighting and running it out. Uh, but you know, now it's the NBA. We're going to go to SAC and, uh, and do it again. Talk about the back-to-back -to -back energy you guys brought tonight. I thought we did a pretty good job. Uh, you know, once we got them down to the mud. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job. Is that the one team you get more satisfaction out of beating because of your history? We have a history with a few teams now. You know, we've been here for, for a while and, and we have a history with a, quite a few teams, especially in the West. You know, San Antonio, OKC, uh, Clippers are the teams that we see the most in the playoffs. So, uh, but it's no hot feelings, never. I think, you know, the game of basketball is, is a beautiful game that uh, should never have hot feelings. But. Talk about it as far as the new players that you've added. How long do you think it would take for you guys to click and mesh? Every day is a little better. Every day is a little better. I thought, uh, you know, they getting used to playing in, in the system, finding ways to be effective, and, uh, and we trying to, you know, get ways to feel, make them feel comfortable as well in the offense. Um, but defensively, I thought that everybody's doing a good job. <laughs> How much satisfaction do you get out of beating that that team? I mean, it's a good team. I mean, we're coming here, you know, when it's always tough and. Uh, Tonight was one of the games, especially after back to back, and we came in and shot a lot of hard and resilient and, and kept playing. Uh, that's what we had to do. It came down to the wire. Talk about, you know, the clutch performance, yeah. pulling it out. I mean, it was, it was a team win. I mean, you know, like I said, guys, was just, you know, we had a hard game before they come here tonight, and, uh, you know, playing in the mud and running, running and guys stuck together, you know, had a good game. Everybody contributed. Nick, Courtney had a great game. Mark, Mike, you know, it was a team win. Yeah, Chris had such a terrific game. It almost seemed scripted that. He was going to get the ball if he was able to do something spectacular. Just the kind of night it was. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, Chris is Chris special. You know, when he had, we knew he was going to have the ball. And Courtney did a good job on the defensive end and, and Mike. And, uh, that's what, that was a game. Zach, talk about where you guys are, considering the players that you've added. How much better do you think you guys have become? I think we're a lot better. I mean, we got to keep playing. I mean, it's, it's, it's to look good on paper, but we got to keep playing and focusing on what we're playing for and competing for each other and playing together and playing defense. The lead is going to the team set for 25, 33. That's nice. That's pride, dude. You just need to hit half of that. No, I love it. I mean, that's good. When you're shutting down teams that you yeah. normally score. That's good, yeah. You're shooting three. When, when they're without Blake, is this the kind of game where you say, we've got to take advantage of that? See, you know, we always play the way with Blake. It don't matter. Blake is out there or not. I mean, that's what we play. What's the team philosophy of your team? I mean, just green grind. I mean, we play hard, play together, play defense, I mean, and stick together. I mean, ain't nothing pretty about it. Ain't no high flyers, which is a hard work team. You know, we you know, don't get a lot of recognition on TV time. But, you know, we just play hard, know we play for okay. Coach, at this point in the season, where would you assess your team as far as what you're expecting and how much better do you think you guys can become? Um, 
I'm just trying to find you know, consistency. It's, this, this first week of the All-Star break is just a, you know, see how it comes out. We've done, been doing our work. We had you know, three, four good days of practice and, and felt good about getting some, uh, some road under the tires or whatever. <laughs> uh, we laid down some pavement, gosh darn it. And, and, but, and it was good, good work for us. And uh, we know we've got to keep getting better, but we play so many games. We play 13 games in 21 days. We've got 10 back to backs now, now nine uh, coming forward. So there's a survival element. And then there's, uh, okay, I see the finish line with three weeks to go. Uh, let's make that final push. Anything else?